Today is June 5th, 2013. Today is my friend's birthday out in Denver. She is 50 years old. So happy birthday, Teresa. Also, I wanted to talk about something to get this off my chest. Mm, about three months ago, um, this lady that we know, her name is Rochelle, and she had to come out here to Portland because her, her father-in-law was sick, so she had to kind of help nurse him back. She was out here for about three weeks, and my mom had said, um, Rochelle might be coming by to see you or calling or, you know, and I said, that'd be fine, and I told myself she won't call or come. And sure enough, she didn't even bother calling or coming over. And I told myself, now that is a rude bitch because she hangs around my uh, niece, who is 33 years old. They are friends, you know, and she calls, my niece calls her Aunt Rochelle, blah, blah. And I said, gee, Aunt Rochelle couldn't even come by to visit. When, and she was, she was only 15 minutes away because Portland's, you know, real close. So I got my feelings hurt and I said, whatever, you know, bitch. <laughs> but anyway, and I'm eating yogurt right now. It's strawberry. Mm. <laughs> As I get all over my chin. Um, and it's really good. This is my snack. So today was a lovely day. It's uh, very sunny windy. It's in the 60s. So this morning about, oh it was about 9.30, we got out the door and we went for the walk, a walk at the pier. It was windy but the wind was a little bit calmer at that time of the morning. And I said, boy the sun actually feels hot so I had to take off my light jacket. And we went over to the pier because I would see all my boats and the boats were in. And then Alan, there they have gardens that are over there, so people are planting vegetables, flowers, you name it, they're planting it. And I told him, I said, too bad we couldn't get one, how much are they? And he says, they're like a hundred bucks per year. I said, too bad we couldn't get that and plant um, lilac trees. He says, forget lilac trees, he wants peppers. And I said, eh, peppers, I want lilacs. Close cherries. And, uh, but we can't afford that, right? But anyway, they just started that this year. And I think that's a really good idea to get the community of the breakwater involved in, you know, planting and stuff like that. That's just a cool idea. And they're like square, and they kind of look like little graves. Cause they're full of dirt on top and then they have wood that goes around and I said so, yeah they look like little graves but anyway so that's what's going on here but so I came back home and so I, I took about a 10 minute walk and Alan he came back home he had to start breakfast because it was after 10 and so we had breakfast, and then he did a little bit of the dishes. I said, well, leave the dishes, part of the dishes in there, and I'll do the rest when you're gone. Because he went to um, Portland downtown, and he had a walk there. How long did it take him to walk there? Just over an hour. Just over an hour. Then he walked around. So he Three was and gone. Three and a half miles. Three and a half miles. Is that all? No. <laughs> so he, you were gone for about, what, three hours? Something like that, yeah. So he was gone for three hours. So while he was gone... I got up, did the dishes, um, then I laid in bed for a while, and then I, I did my word search puzzles, which I love to do, so I did about four of them. Then about, oh, about 2.30, I jumped up and I did my um, half a mile, my exercise tape, and I said, wow, I feel really good today. I'm not hurting or anything. <coughs> so I got that done. Laid back down, rested up. I was listening to my music, which I love to do. So I was just laying there, the windows wide open, and I said, Oh, this feels so good today. I didn't have the fan on. And when Ellen got home, about quarter to five, 
I said, I need my hair washed. So he, he washed my hair for me. It's getting long. It's been, this is the eighth week. I need to get my hair cut sometime, but I don't know when. Uh, um, so he washed my hair for me and he got me a snack going. And um, right now he's on the computer and he's going to be um, doing some cooking in here in a few. Right, Alan? Likely. Yeah, he is, and um, so we're just going to chill out for the rest of the night. He had a nice long walk. He wanted to go to downtown to take some pictures down there, and then yesterday he went to this Hinkley Park, and he took, um, got some pictures of some turtles, and didn't you say you got the, what are those birds called? They're Osprey? Eagles. You got the eagles? Well, there's an eagle, but it's really far away. Oh, so he couldn't get the eagle, but I thought you got the ospreys birds. Well, I got some ospreys the other day, yeah, yeah he Sunday got, morning. Yeah, okay, so he got some of those birds, and um, he just loves taking pictures of nature and stuff like that, so he'll go anywhere to get a picture, and he'll walk anywhere, and it's like I told him, I can only walk around here now. So tomorrow I'm going to try the walk. I'm going to go, hopefully try to go around the gazebo, and then go down to the pier again and then come back. I've been trying to make it a little bit longer, so it should be hopefully about 12 to 13 minute walk. We'll see, or maybe 14 minutes. But um, I, yeah, it's like, I felt okay today. I, I did pretty good today on the walk, huh? Yes. I mean, I, I did say, I did, I stopped, but it, I don't think I really stopped as much. So I did pretty awesome today on the walk, and so that's why tomorrow I'm going to try to make it just a little bit further, but, um, and I came back home and I wasn't in pain or anything, so I did awesome. Oh, and I wanted to give a shout out to Miss Alicia, she had her surgery today, I'm sure she had it by now, and Alicia, I, just, I don't know if you watch my videos still or whatever, but I just wanted to tell you that I said a prayer for you, hoping that things go well and you will do great girl and this is a new beginning of a new life for you so good job anyway this is all i have to say today i'm just feeling really good i'm feeling better that i have no pain and also my mom and my sister got back okay from california they went up there for four days and they had a wedding to go to my cousin victoria got married so they had an a awesome trip and uh, so mom and i talked about what was going on with me she says, you know, you better start. She says, you got to lose that weight. She says, because your knee, it's bad. And I said, I know. I said, I just got to put my mind to it, not have Al go get me the stuff that I love to eat, like the candy, the cookies. And I, because she kind of blamed him for it. I said, it's not his fault. It's my fault because I asked him to get it for me. And he knows what I do when he doesn't bring it to me. So it's my fault, not Alan's fault. So we had a talk and she says, get up and move around more. So that's why I got up again to do that half a mile again. So I just need to get myself motivated more. And I got to quit eating my bread and I'm not going to have out my meat any bread. I'm going to have bread only when we have hamburgers. And those buns are, how much are the calories of those buns? They're not too bad. No, not really. No, they're, and they're little buns. So I, that's the only time I'm really going to have um, bread is for the hamburger and then sometimes I could eat it plain too but when I have my tuna I'm not going to have bread I, I, I could eat it plain I've done it before and it's really creamy when he makes it that day and I eat it that same day it is really tasty but, but if I eat it two days later um, it's kind of gross so. but anyway so I'm working on getting motivated I, I'm also working on if I could do two walks a week and maybe even work out a third walk, you know, um, I will get there. It's just the walking, the, and my leg didn't hurt today at all when I walked, so that was awesome. Anyway, enough of my ramble, ramblings. Um, you, know, you all folks have a great evening, and take care. We'll talk to you later. Bye.